to a headband. Today I'm so excited to show you this dish that's called onion braised ribs. You're gonna learn this dish here and here only in Jet Jazz Kingdom. My mom and I created this dish one day when we only have these leftover ingredients in the fridge. And it's so easy, so simple, so delicious that with one bite, it's gonna take you to heaven. Now let's get started. What we'll need today is baby back rib, cilantro, onions, tomatoes, mirin, rice wine, and soy sauce. So first thing first, we're gonna cut the onion into little strip. You don't have to cut them real thin because this rib is gonna be cooking there for about two and a half hours. If you cut it too thin, the onion will dissolve into the juice and that doesn't look pretty. Now tomatoes. You just need to cut them into a big chunk. It's gonna be cooked for two and a half hours. The next thing is, you need to cut your ribs according to how big your pan is. For mine, I need to cut them in half. You can also cut them into a third. Depends on the size of your pan. Now, guess what? We're ready for cooking. All right, first thing, we're gonna sear the ribs all the way, every side of it, so make sure we don't have all the red shows. So we're gonna Turn the heat up to high. A little kitchen wisdom. When you're searing meat, you better wear an apron so it doesn't splash on your clothes. Pouring some oil. This oil jar, the best stuff I buy in the kitchen. I don't know how they design it. It does not drip. We're gonna sear it, it's gonna splash. I like to put the bone side down first, but you can do whatever you like. Because the ribs are curved, so you wanna make sure you push them down, so every is touching the oil. So look, this is all nicely seared, every side, you can't see much red anymore. That means it's ready to take out. You don't wanna over sear it, okay? And believe me, this is the hardest part of the dish. So what we're gonna do now here with the remaining oil, we're just gonna put our onion and our tomato in. We're gonna saute it until it's translucent. And at this stage, if you wanna speed up the process, you can add a little salt in there, but don't add too much. If you put too much salt in here now, you don't need so much soy sauce, then the color wouldn't be as nice. Look at the onion, they are translucent and soft. It's time to put the baby back rib back in the pan. I like to keep the bone side down first, and then in the middle I flip it. Why? Because you know, one hour later, it's gonna be really soft, and sometimes when you turn it, you can break it. If I do the bone side down and then I turn it, it will, at the end, when I'm reducing the juice, it will caramelize beautifully on the bottom, and I don't risk breaking it. Smart, right? I know. Now we're just gonna add in the liquid. First thing is the Chinese rice wine. Then we're gonna put in the Japanese sweet rice wine in there. And the last one is soy sauce. Now as you can see, the sauce itself is not so much, it's not covering the ribs. This is how we want it to be. Because in one hour, the onion is gonna release so much juice and it will be just perfect. One last thing though before you cover it up is to taste it. You know how our mom, the old time, they never taste it. They'll be like, look at it and go, not enough soy sauce, more, or ooh, too much soy sauce. And then mom's like, how did you know? She's like, like color. That's from experience. Those experiences precious. Now after I taste it, I say it's perfect. Let's put the lid on and let this thing just cook low heat for an hour. Now it's been one hour, the house smells so good. Let's just check on these ribs. Oof. Oh, look at that. See the juice, I told you the sauce is gonna be just right. You got one last chance to taste it before you Seal the deal. So, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I'm good. 
Now we just need to flip the red. Now we're just gonna cover it back up and let it cook on low heat for another one and a half hours. One and a half hours has secretly passed by. I drank my coffee, had my wine with no sweat, and this is done. Let's take a look. Ooh la la! Now the last thing we need to do is to reduce some of this yummy sauce to make it more thick, more pretty to the eye. So we turn the heat on to high. This is the step where you need to keep your eyes on the dish and kind of keep moving this rib a little bit here and there, just so it doesn't stick on the bottom. And you can see they're bubbling real hard and they're gonna get thickening with no time. So you really wanna keep your eyes on it. Even though you think the juice is so much, it's gonna take you a while. No, it's a touch and go. So you really wanna keep your eyes on it. And it's getting there more like a caramelized color now. Beautiful, shiny, caramelized color. I kind of want to just put my finger in there and lick it. See, it's only been like a couple minutes, three minutes or so. It's already thickening a lot. And I really like the consistency and the color now. And now it's up to you whether you want it to be more sauce or less sauce. If you want it to be less sauce, you can keep on doing this reducing process. But like me, I think it's pretty good because I'm gonna pour those sauce in my on my rice bowl. Oh, so I'm gonna keep more sauce. So I'm gonna turn the heat off now and take it out. By now, this meat is so tender, so soft, it's gonna fall off the bone. So you really want something to help you so it doesn't fall apart. I know it doesn't look like all glamour and all that. But hey, everybody needs a little touch-up. Let's glamour it up. Last little touch-up, the cilantro. Look at this beautiful dish. It's super simple to make and it's super delicious and it has this look to impress your guest. It's a good dinner dish, it's a good potluck dish, and guess what? It's the perfect dish for a guy to impress a girl because it's so easy. Which girl's gonna say no to this, right? You have got to give this a try. You're probably drooling now, right? Because the food looks so good. Please like and subscribe for more amazing yummy food. Also, check out my website at chachasprintum.com.